Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from this month's sponsor, Ethico. If you're a compliance officer, middle managers are crucial in getting your programs from you to your frontline employees. But how do we activate those managers and get them on our side? Ethico's new Middle Manager Toolkit equips you with the skills needed to empower your managers, to promote a culture where ethical behavior thrives and employees feel empowered to speak up. Learn how to turn frontline managers into ethical leaders with our new white paper, Empowering Middle Managers as Ethics Champions. And did I mention you can get the whole toolkit for free? Head to ethico.com to download the full toolkit today. Also, if you are looking for something new and different for the upcoming Compliance Week celebration in November, check out The Compliance Kids. It's my three-book children's series on compliance and compliance professionals for children. But they make great gifts and great training tools for your employees. You can check it out on amazon.com. We've linked to it in the show notes. The Daily Compliance News for October 29, 2024, the Olympus Chief Fired Edition. We begin with that story from the Financial Times that Olympus head Stefan Kaufman has been pushed out of the company over allegations he purchased illegal drugs, the Japanese medical device maker said. In a stunning executive for one of the very few Uh, foreign chief executives of a Japanese company. The company said Kaufman was stepping down following an internal inquiry, which was launched after the company had received an allegation the chief executive had purchased illegal drugs. Next up from the Wall Street Journal, Risk and Compliance Journal, Connor Hart reporting that Alibaba Group has agreed to pay $433 million to settle a class action lawsuit waged by shareholders and in part alleged the company hurt investors by making misstatements about its exclusivity practices. The China-based e-commerce platform denied allegations, uh, but said it settled to avoid the cost and disruption of further litigation. That's $433 million for a settlement uh, to avoid further cost. The settlement is due to a number of conditions, including court approval. The lawsuit was filed against Alibaba, as well as certain officers and directors, which required a coerced merchants to sell exclusively on the Alibaba platform. Next up, from the Houston Chronicle, the business columnist Chris Tomlinson asked, should he be worried about being jailed as a critic of Donald Trump? Um, he believes a vote for Donald Trump is a vote for putting him in jail and that Trump's saying that he will go after his enemies, that if you're not with him, you're against him. So business columnists are even concerned they're going to get thrown into jail if Trump is elected. And our final story comes to us from Reuters, which reports that Carlos Watson, the convicted Ozzy Media founder, argues that the trial court verdict should be thrown out because the judge was conflicted. He had a financial stake in four companies alleged to have been victims of Ozzy Media's offenses through his investments in hedge funds managed by his former employee. Does that sound complicated? Well, it's because it's a stretch upon a stretch upon a stretch of a conflict of interest argument. Not clear why this wasn't raised uh, pre-trial or during trial, and so it may have been waived by the defendant. Yet, Uh, Mr. Watson, who uh, engaged in one of the most creative frauds that we've seen in some time, uh, his lawyers are still doing their job. As I mentioned at the start of this podcast, the sponsor for the entire Compliance Podcast Network is Ethico. Well, Ethico has a great new offering this month for you, a toolkit for middle managers. This is something that you, as the compliance professional, can use to move your compliance program forward by giving middle managers the skills necessary to answer a call for speak up or when someone comes in their office and raises a concern. I can't think of a tool that will be more valuable for you in the current era of enforcement. 
The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.